Hello, hi guys. This is Malia with Mustard Tree Market. And I am the creator and coach over here. And I'm also a brand ambassador for Dixieville Paint Company and Would You Been Moldings. So today I'm painting a desk. And if you remember, if you follow my page, um, that little chair that I did a while back and I used the magnolia transfer on the seat and she was really buttery and had some pink grunge. Um, that's the chair that goes with this desk. So we're making it kind of go together, but not match, right? So I've went ahead and started, this is laminate. So this is, if you can see in there, underneath of there, it's a laminate desk. It is slick and yes, you can paint laminate. So what I did to prep was I cleaned this really well with white lightning and then I rinsed it off really good with water and then I went in with slick stick. Slick stick is our bonding primer. It helps things slick, stick that are slick. <laughs> the name's genius, right? So that's what I put all over this piece. I just did one coat. You really should do two coats. I typically do one because I cheat. But if you want to be safe, do two and let them dry completely between and then wait 24 hours and then go in with your paint. Do as I say, not as I do. And I went ahead in here and started just this little layering process. I went in with Wharf. This is the new Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint. And I went ahead and put Wharf around all these little edges. Okay, because it's going to look kind of like like the colors worn away on the outside and that this was maybe the original color. It's a creative process. You guys are going along with me. So I went ahead and put some Wharf down. I, um, I did like a one and a half coat. So I put that down and then I just kind of touched it up a little bit to make it a little richer with a second coat. And now I'm going to go in and do the rest. And then I will end up doing this Magnolia transfer so that it goes with the chair. I'll be putting little bloop, 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 any which way on here. So that'll come at the very end. You won't get to see that on here, but stay tuned and join me on my page and you might get a glimpse. <laughs> All right, so the next color I'm gonna do is called Sunkissed. Sunkissed, it's a beautiful color. It's like a sunkissed color. It looks like the sun, if it kissed some ivory paint, what it will look like. Oh, I got my little, if this happens to your paint guys, don't freak out. That's just a protective film that it's built up. Okay, you just take it off, set it down, okay? It's a survival method that the paints do, okay? keeps it nice and fresh. Now it's perfect. Look at that pretty color. All right, that's what we're gonna go in with now. We're coming in hot with some Sunkissed. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush. I thought about trying my best stain brush, but I think I'm gonna use this one. And this is the Oval Medium. Oval medium, because I'm doing actually more of a softer blend. It's still going to be more of a layer. This is dry. If I wanted to actually blend this, then I would have kept that wet, right? So I could work them in together. But I don't want them to be blended. I want them to be layered, but a soft layer. So that's why I went ahead and let this dry. And I'm going to use this Dixie Bell Synthetic Round brush to get this going, okay? All right, let's go. And yes, I left my hardware on because that's what I do. I went ahead and slick sticked it. That's what I do. Oh, I did not wash this brush first and it's brand new, so it's gonna shed a little bit. If you wash your brush, brush before you use it the very first time, it'll get any little loose hairsies out. That's what I recommend. I'm just gonna go right on over that hardware and I will change the hardware to make it look more um, metal at the end. 
So it won't be painted when it's done. It'll be metally. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. All right, now I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna put away the, su the sun kissed for a hot minute. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of yellow. Try to yellow. Yeah, probably. All right. Now, this is where everybody's gonna freak out because it's part of the chalk mineral line, it's not part of the silk. Shh, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Let's see, I'm gonna go in with the Rebel Yellow first. So Rebel Yellow and the regular chalk mineral line of Dixie Bells is just a little bit more yellow than the Sun Kiss. Looks a lot more yellow there, but it's really not. They're just a little bit, well, it looks like a lot there, but <laughs> it's really just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not a liar, okay? So we're just gonna dab a do ya. Just a dab a do ya. Now I'm going to use, where'd it go? Easy peasy spray wax. This is how I do my like little, um, like a little blendy, a soft blend on top of the silk without blending the silk with the chalk mineral. I use this Easy Peasy Spray Wax. You shake this puppy up. Starts out a liquid, shake it. When it starts to sound more like not a liquid, then you can use it. Okay, so spray some of this um, Easy Peasy Spray Wax where I'm wanting to blend it out. So, I'm just doing this along the edges of where my 
where my sun kissed meets the um, wharf. And I'm just using a teensy tiny, see, see how much that is in there? Hardly any amount of the rebel yellow. Okay. I'm barely just depositing just a little bit. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to wipe it back. Everything's dry that I'm putting this on. Okay. So the, the sun kissed is dry. The wharf is dry. Nothing's moving. I've added no water. But once it's dry, you could add a little bit of that easy peasy spray wax. It's just going to give me some playability to my um, Rebel Yellow. All right, so that's Rebel Yellow into the Sun Kissed. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of Daisy. And Daisy is, oh, it's brand new Daisy. Daisy is also in the Chalk Mineral line. Okay. So, I don't care if this is a little bit wet, which it should probably not be. It'll probably be dry. But I wouldn't care either way because I can blend this with that if I need to. And Daisy is a real pretty, real pretty sunny, sunny time yellow. It's really happy. It's a happy yellow. I'm going to take my same brush, same brush, pretty much clean now. And I'm just going to use the lid. I'm just going to do a little bit of that, okay? And I'm going to do it a little bit further out. So I've got the sun kissed, then I've got this little rubble yellow. I'm going to go a little bit farther out with this daisy, okay? And remember, I've already easy peasy spray waxed, but that's going to be pretty dry. So I'm going to go ahead and mist it again, just as I'm working.
All right, now I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna add another color. Let's go in now with the next one. And I'll turn you around and bring you up close and show you this at the end. <clears throat> Let's do, holy guacamole. One of my favorite colors. Look at that pretty guacamole color. All right, just a little bitty dabble do you of that. And then we're gonna miss this again. And we're gonna hit the edge of the daisy. And a lot of that's gonna be in this little, these little crevices of the drawer because we're fanning her out. We're fanning her out. Add a little bit more paint. This one I gotta be a little bit more precise in because I gotta get in these little nooks and crannies. But I'm just overlapping that warfare. Warf sounds like I said warfare, doesn't it? Like so, yep. So this is kind of coming in and basically kind of joining the gray to the, to this little blend, if that makes sense. And guess what, we're still not done. And if you get on some spot that you don't want, you can always just put some easy peasy spray wax on a shop towel and wipe her back. Like an eraser, since you've sprayed her with easy peasy, it makes it pretty easy to do that. I'm fanning this out over it just a little bit, just because it looks cool. Whoopsie. Easy peasy, I'll fix that. See how I kind of like lay my brush to the side and I kind of like rub it? There we go. I can tell you that I'm probably going to go back in with a little bit more yellow again and fan it back out just because my client really likes the yellow and I'm definitely pulling a lot more green because I love it. <laughs> so I'll go back in probably and pull a little bit more of that yellow and fan it back out a little bit again. Use your finger like that, works. We're gonna work that down into each drawer again, and then I'm gonna dry it, and I'm gonna hit it with Hampton Olive as the final little around the edges, if that makes sense.
maybe the rebel yellow or something and let me show you this close-up well before I do that let me show you what this is gonna look like with the transfer sorry I've got you all over the place but all right so on the chair if you saw my page I used this one that's like a whole sheet here I used that on the um, bottom of the chair on the butt part <laughs> and I'm thinking this is what the chair had on it that big one that's from the chair like this okay and then I'm thinking for this piece all these pieces I'm really liking this one down here I'm loving this one right here I'm loving some of these twigs and like this pretty gal so that's where I'm getting these colors from so if you look in here closely see where I'm pulling those colors from I've got the yellows in here and I went with the, the dingiest of the greens and then the cream and that's where I'm getting those colors see how pretty that's gonna look together so pretty right so pretty all right I'm gonna bring you in and show you <laughs> and then I'll leave you alone Oh. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. So it's not finished. We got to still outline the edge against the wharf with some of the um, Hampton Olive. But you get the idea of where we're going here. And I'm going to put some more soft kind of cream in the middle to kind of fan it out. And then here's how that transfer looks with it. See how pretty that is? Super pretty, right? So try getting the transfers and like really look at the, the little bits of color that are in there, the little pops. And those make really fun colors to pull into a piece. And then remember that this is made with silk, but I was able to make these, this nice cool blend of brighter colors around the edges by letting the silk dry fully and then using easy peasy spray wax to allow me to blend only the chalk mineral paints without reactivating the colors of silk. Cool, right? Super cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to keep working on this because I've got that whole side over there. And it's going to look beautiful when it's done. And I hope that you pass this along to all your friends. Have some fun painting, guys, and think outside the box. And you use that easy peasy to be able to blend on top of the silk. Trick, trick, trick. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Sorry. <laughs> How are you guys today? So we're going to be working on this desk again. I started this last week and it's using all the silk paints and using a couple of the transfers, using the Magnolia Garden and the Floral Romance transfer. And we're just cutting up some pieces of that and kind of building it out. And then I've started doing the hardware. So I also add some Woody Bend roses. Look how pretty those guys are. So those are actual um, Woody Bend roses. I'll pull you in and show you. Okay, so this is where we left off. So it just looks like nice and plain, right? I just painted right over my hardware. And then this is a transfer. I actually added a little bit of more of the muscadine wine on top of this transfer to make it a little deeper and richer. This is the magnolia transfer. This is the floral romance. This is the floral romance. 
And then this is a Would You Bend rose molding that I painted um, in rustic red and some muscadine wine again. And then I put another little duty down here with a little bit of transfer down there. So it's kind of like a raised multimedia looking look to it. And the hardware is what I'm going to show you guys and then the grunging. So usually we grunge out with like black wax or brown wax, right? Well, instead I've used pink. So I've done this one other time on the chair and I'm using the same thing that I used then, which is the silk paint again and conch, I think is how you say it, conch. So it's like a dusty, rosy color and easy peasy spray wax to make like a grunge. So see how it's coming off the hardware? And it's just super soft grunge. There's nothing else, just that. And then I've got the gilding wax in bronze to make this make the hardware kind of pop again. And then I got little bitty pops of the gemstone mousse and garnet. Okay, how cute is that? It's like a little pink, just a tad bit of red. The bronze, it's just a soft grunge and you can see how it's hitting the edges here. So that's what I'm gonna do. So if you hang out with me, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's super simple. It's a fun way to make a really soft grunge is what I call it, very soft, very romantic grunge. So I think that you guys will like this, especially if you're like, I don't wanna go super dirty, but I wanna give some depth. Um, this is a great way to kind of flirt with the grunge. All right, down to business now. We're gonna go in with our pretty romantic pink grunge. We're using the conch by, it's a silk one. It's an all-in-one mineral chalk paint, or mineral paint, not chalk. It's an all-in-one. So it's got the built-in primer and top coat. And I'm just gonna use a little bitty artist brush. And I'll try to pull you guys in so you can see as good as possible. So I'm going to finish this one spot right here that I stopped at. I'm going to use Easy Peasy Spray Wax. Shake it and shake it and shake it and shake it. And then we're going to squirt it. Probably just squirt my brush with the Easy Peasy Spray Wax. And then you just barely need any paint at all. And then dab it back. So see there's the tiniest bit ever of paint. And then we're just gonna hit around the hardware and then kind of like let it go down. All right, so I'm just gonna hit this a little bit around. Oh, and I got it dry. If it starts to dry on you, just spray it again with the spray wax, easy peasy. And you kind of use your finger, it's totally fine. and just a tad tiny bit of the paint right out of the lid. And I'm using that silk conch. I think that's how you say it. Wipe it back. And so just the same places that you would put like black wax is where I'm putting the pink paint. Mixed with the Easy Peasy Spray Wax is like I've made my own colored wax then, if that makes sense. And it's just super, super faint, super soft. But it gives you just a hint of romance. Romance. And I like to wipe it with my fingers. Hit these little edges, so see how that's like a raised spot there? And then kind of just wipe it back that there's no right or wrong way to really apply this but the idea is you just get a little bit where you would normally put your like black wax instead you're putting this your homemade pink liquid wax pretty right and you always want to have your little paper towel, shop towel, and have it sprayed with some easy peasy spray wax. And this can be your eraser. 
So anywhere you get it that you don't want it or it's too hard or something like that, you just use this and it'll just wipe it right back. So you can have as much or as little as you want. I let mine dry a little bit so it's a little not exactly how I want it. But that's all you do and you have kind of an eraser. I'm going to come up here and work on these because this is really easy for you to see. So I'm going to do these next so you can hopefully see really well. Easy peasy spray wax. I'm going to just do a, yeah, I won't do that. You can lightly mist your piece, but I want a little bit harder of a look than that. So you just spray your brush, dip just a teensy tiny, teensy tiny. And, oh, actually before, I'll do this first. I'll show you the gilding wax too. So you just kind of hit the edges and you don't really want to hit like the hole around the hardware perfectly, if that makes sense. You kind of want to be sporadic. So I might have this side that has more on one side and I might have some that's more on the bottom and some that's more on the top. And see, that's barely showing up. I'm gonna mist it just a little bit, kind of dab it. Just to give me a little bit more playability. Dip it again. And then wipe it back on a shop towel so you just have that little tiny amount. And then I'm just going to go on this one side mostly on this side so that it looks kind of natural or more sporadic instead of like equally on both sides. And it's just wherever you would normally put like your black wax or your dirt or your brown wax, like wherever you would put that grunge where dirt would fall, you instead just put your nice liquid blush. Now, let me show you how it looks when I add in 
some of the gilding wax. So this is our gilding wax in bronze. And I'm going to show you how this looks. And I'm intentionally just hitting the tops of this. Like I'm not trying to cover the whole thing. So I'm wanting some of that white paint to still show through because we're keeping this really soft and romantic. So we want the hardware to look like it's metal, but maybe that's been painted and worn off over the years. So we're using the bronze just to give it that edge. So this is the Dixie Bell's Moose, super pretty. This is my favorite color. I know it's not used very much, but why? Look how gorgeous, gorgeous. So you stir it up really good, okay? Stir it up, stir it up, whip it. Whip it good, whip it, whip it good. <laughs> so get it all whipped up because it'll be separated -y when you first open them. And then um, you can use your fingers, you can use um, a little tiny artist brush, whatever. I'm gonna use just a little tiny bit. Doesn't take very much. And I'm just going to hit, I'm gonna try just to hit this like little, just a little bitty bit. And I know it seems a little silly, like what is that gonna do? but it does do something. It's almost like where like a green patina might lie, you know, on a piece that you've got just a little bit of little pops of that turquoise patina coming through. It's kind of like that, but it's like with the red.
And look how cool it looks next to the rose. Like to me that just really complements it. It really brings out the rose because she wanted a piece that was primarily this like, you know, buttery color. And she wanted pops of the reds and pops of the pinks. And I think that this is gonna be really cool. I think it's gonna be the perfect thing that kind of pulls it together. I'll show you closer. This little baby tripod makes it easy to bring you guys in. So there's without anything, how the hardware and the drawers look. Sorry, that's coming next, but. So see how it's really simple. And then, boom, let's add some pink romantic grunge. There is no black wax on that, guys. It's just pink. And see how subtle it is around the hardwares? And see how that gemstone mousse and garnet just creates the coolest effect, especially against that transfer. And like I said, this transfer is floral romance are these big, big roses. And it comes with several sheets. I think four of that one. Four, yep. And then the magnolia transfer is all the white flowers and these branches and such. And that comes with four sheets as well. And I'm gonna go down here to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. The bottom, what do you do at the bottom? Keep going, you keep going, you keep going. So see how we've done the romantic grunge up there with the pink. We're gonna con continue that and carry it on to the bottom. So I'm gonna add the gemstone mousse on this one because I didn't do that one. See the difference? I can totally tell that I didn't add the gemstone mousse and how different it looks. So I want that in there. All right, here we go. So here's with nothing. Here's the before. And then here's what happens when we do that pink romantic grunge. Look how cool that is, guys. Is that not so pretty? Look at that little pop of gemstone garnet. Come on. It's so romantic. And it's just like dripping down pink. It seems like it would look super fake, right? But it, somehow it just doesn't. Somehow it looks still real. And then here's the bottom. Thank you guys for all the hearts. See? It's just super, super subtle. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Hopefully you'll pass this along 
and um, try this out and I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much. Bye.